simplicity parts, simple parts of, of options. I'm going to talk about now something that has always been very dear to my heart uh, when I first started trading. And what that is, is I call them the qualities of trading. As a trader, you stand in the pit. When you're in the pit, you basically have, uh, in the old days, you didn't have screens, you didn't have technology, you didn't have computers that were giving you values. Uh, you had two ways of doing it. One, you have theoretical sheets that you print up in the morning that I would prepare two hours before the opening. I'd break down my position to know exactly what I was long, whether I was long or short premium. Uh, I would then look at what was left as far as what will happen with the movement of my position with the movement of stock. But what I had to understand when I broke down my positions was the qualities. So when I went down to the pit, I would look at the screen. I'd see all the calls. I'd see all the puts. And I'd see the underlying stock. Well, what that told me was that if I looked at the equalities, which is an example, long calls and short put, that's equal to long stock. I could sell those option values. What I was basically creating was synthetic stock, synthetic long or short stock. I was creating long call, short call, long put, short put. So when I looked at all these different options, basically what was my goal in the trading pit was to arb these synthetic opportunities many times in a given day. So that meant if I could do some strategies known as reversals and conversions, and I did that to lock up an arb, I would do that as many times as possible. And those opportunities become available. In the old days of trading in the early 80s and mid 80s, the opportunity to do that, those strategies was significant. Uh, reversals and conversions uh, that you could value out, which I will show you how to value a reversal and conversion, which basically is a function of time and interest rate. You could put on a reversal that might be worth a dime for a dollar credit, okay? Uh, that's a significant profit. In the 80s when puts and calls were very new to the public and to the trading community. We will go through different types of strategies like that. I'll be able to share with you uh, what went on then, what I understand to evolve because I was part of that evolution with the transition to technology, and then talking about where the markets are today and what the opportunities are available today. What you'll find is that when you become educated and knowledgeable, with these strategies, the opportunities that will be available to you will be made by some of the technical analysis that FARI makes available to you on a daily basis. You combine those two, and I believe you have the opportunity to succeed on a daily basis. Besides that, you're going to have to understand 